Drill Restore is one of the easiest robberies in Roblox Jailbreak. Or used to be at least. Before many patches we had quick rob for it. And also we could collect the gems through the wall. This made Jewelry the easiest hyperchrome to get, but for some reason it has a really good value and good demand too. But in today's video I will show you the best tips and tricks how to get diamond hyperchrome level 5 from level 0 in just one month. First of all, you have to know how to deal with each floor, because some floors need to be showed here. You should have avatar as small as possible, which will allow you to not crouch here. Also, if your avatar is a bit taller, then you can equip a weapon, go to first camera and look down. You can just jump here and last and skip whole floor. Also, there are two floors I call hold space and pray. Because everything you have to do here is just hold space and go to the staircase. Also, this floor can be easily beaten if you stick it to the wall. You don't even care if camera is coming. Only last one here needs to be docked normally. But yeah, now we move to the glitch which many graders know. It's the gem floor glitch. If you don't know, gem floor is upstairs floor where jewels spawn. We have two gem floors. This one and this one. And why they are overpowered? Well, because they allow you to rob jewelry up to 7 times in just 6 minutes. You collect first jewelry as normal, but make sure somebody will hold the jester. It can be an alt staying in safe place. Also, I recommend getting a heli for it. Once you collect your first jewelry, go back to the store and collect one jewel. You have to be quick with that because Jacer has limited time to be open. But if you have top gem floor, which is also easy to rob, you can easily rob the Jacer 7 times. And as you can see, I did 7 JSTOR robberies in 6 minutes. You should know one more thing about JSTOR glitches. Because, if you grind on public server, JSTOR can open twice in one Rising City group. Yes. It doesn't work like a power plant, which opens in any group after 5 minutes, but still, it's ok. If Jester gets closed and Rising City group will be still under robbery for more than 5 minutes, this will happen. Jester will reopen. This means if you have a good team, you can easily rob it twice, or even 10 times if you get 2 gem floors. Yes, 10 times, because this next jewelry store has a lot less time to get closed because of the groups. This is why you should grind on smaller server. Because, if you have a team, you can easily do double JSTOR glitch and also gem floor one. Also, if you go for power plant hyperchrome also, after doing JSTOR, you can just wait a bit and it will open. And then, your JSTOR should get open next time. This is so overpowered for those hyperchromes. But actually, if you go only for JSTOR, you should do VIP server hops. If you have a private server and also are able to have one alt, your JSTOR grinding will be much easier. Join the private server and check if rising group will open, but before you will know, you can easily get a heli from police building. Just use the road glitch. It's pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to do. But I have to warn you, glitch works the best for avatars with normal legs and so far I didn't notice if working animation would change anything. But yeah, you can get a heli, take your alt JSTOR and rob it. 
If there is a jump floor, you put your alt in JSTOR and just rob it as I told you before. Quick and easy, 7 robberies without any worries. But if you think about alt F4 now, here is next thing you can do with stacking hypergrams. You can go with alt to the museum and rob it easily. Just look. But yeah, I will tell more about museum in Orange 5 guide. Going back to JSTOR, if you do a VIP hop, your average of robberies in one hour will be around 20. Of course it depends on luck with groups, but 20 is most likely. Here you can see the pities for each hypergram. And now, as you can see, if you rob JSTOR 120 times a day, you can get a level 5 from nothing in just one month. But if you play just one hour a day and rob it 20 times, you will get a level 5 from level 4 in just 2 months. Level 5 from level 4 requires around 70 hours of grinding. It's not that much as for Hypergum. But yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.